Good afternoon. Uh, welcome and thank you for coming out uh, for this opportunity to talk about the importance of oral health. We're here at Family First Health today. We're really grateful for the opportunity for our Secretary of Health and Surgeon General, Dr. Denise Johnson, to join us. Um, we also have Dr. Joe Mountain, who leads our dental team um, here at uh, our George Street Center and across our system. And we have Megan Given, who is going to take a few minutes and talk to us about her experience as a patient at Family First Health and her children's experience. So I'm first gonna turn it over to Megan to share uh, her experience with us. Okay, thank you. Hi, uh, my name's Megan Given. I'm a city resident here in York and uh, my family has been a patient of Family First Health since 2015 when we first moved into the city um, and we were looking for a walkable healthcare option. Um, my kids were uh, very young when we had our first dental appointments. My daughter was three years old and my son was 18 months old when we came here to the George Street Center. Um, I really liked that I was able to schedule both of their appointments at the same time. My kids really liked the cool sunglasses that they got to wear during their exam and the goodie bags uh, that they received at the end that had the toothbrush and the really neat flossers. Um, so they really enjoyed that. And because my son was so little, um, his first dental exam was actually what was called a knee-to-knee -knee exam. So I sat knee-to-knee -knee facing Dr. Walker with my son's head in my lap. Um, and I was able to hold him while the doc did his thing. And um, that level of care really made us feel both very comfortable. Um, and we had a tear-free uh, first dental appointment. It was fantastic. Uh, today, my kids, uh, my daughter is 10, my son is eight, and Family First Health has seen us through all of our regular dental checkups. They have seen us through an emergency dental visit with a chipped front tooth. Um, and they are currently preparing us for the inevitable orthodontia uh, that is coming our way soon. So uh, we are thrilled to have this really amazing resource for healthcare in our community, and we're proud to be patients of Family First Health. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. We'll turn it over to Dr. Johnson. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as you heard, I'm Denise Johnson. I am the Acting Secretary of Health and the Physician General at the Pennsylvania Department of Health. So excited to be here and get an opportunity to tour the dental facilities here. Um, just want to uh, thank my colleagues for welcoming me here uh, to be able to just really recognize uh, the importance of oral health. Um, first, I wanna thank uh, all of the staff for the work that they're doing every day to make sure that these healthcare services, especially oral health services, are accessible, affordable, and available to all citizens uh, in the Commonwealth. The hard work that you do every day is very appreciated. And there are clinics like this all across the Commonwealth really ensuring that we are striving for a healthy Pennsylvania for all. Many people might not realize that our oral health really influences the health of our whole bodies. Our mouths are connected to our bodies. People who have problems with oral health, uh, have dental decay, also can have issues with their heart, with their lungs. It can worsen diabetes, and it also has been shown to worsen cognitive decline. We also know that uh, dental health uh, issues can affect uh, individuals with pre in pregnancy, and that uh, dental disease can lead to miscarriages, stillbirth, complications with pregnancy. Good oral health is very important to children. We know that children who suffer from poor oral health can have difficulty in eating, in sleeping, in speaking, in socializing. And we also know that it can impact uh, families financially. Um, individuals who have poor dental health uh, may have difficulty finding employment or may not uh, receive uh, as high a salary. It really could affect individuals in very many different ways. We want to make sure that oral health care is accessible and affordable for everyone across the Commonwealth. 
We know that in 2019, it was estimated that 56 million people live in areas that have not enough dental providers. And so equity is very important. Individuals that are black or brown or have low income can have more dental decay and um, can have more untreated dental decay. And we want to make sure that these services are available. That's why the Department of Health is very focused on our oral health program. We um, have realized grant funding that helps uh, communities like these to be able to provide these services, to provide uh, services like um, oral health uh, exams for uh, cancer screening, community water fluoridation, sealants um, based in school clinics uh, for children, and then other just oral um, health uh, preventative activities. We know that uh, oral health, uh, good oral health, um, can be obtained. Almost all oral health uh, disease um, can be preventable. And it could be as simple as drinking a glass of water. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have recognized community water fluoridation as one of the 10 greatest public health achievements of the 20th century. There have been um, numerous studies over the years that have shown that community water fluoridation is safe, it's effective, and it's also economical. But it also is equity focused, and so that anyone can have access to a glass of water that can help prevent uh, dental decay. So we're really glad to partner um, with uh, community clinics like this and really proud of the work that they're doing. We encourage everyone to make sure that you see your dental provider every six months. And if you have difficulty accessing a dental provider, go to health.pa.gov website and you can find resources there. Thank you all for the work you and your staff are doing here. And I'd like to turn it over now to Dr. Mountain. I just wanted to take an opportunity to thank you. You were very well informed. That was very impressive. <laughs> um, it's great for us as an FQAC to know that we have partners in the state that care about the work that we do. So thank you for visiting. My pleasure. So if there are any questions, we'd like to take them now. Dr. Johnson, what I can share is that uh, Family First Health so far this year has already provided over 17,000 dental visits and we're just gearing up for our school-based work that's kicked off, I think, last week. Um, and we partner with the state in doing that school-based work, so providing preventative care in the school. The state, uh, through a grant from the Department of Health and the Pennsylvania Coalition on Oral Health, allows us to track data in a system that helps us see um, the number of sealants and how preventative care is being offered throughout the state to children in schools. And we're very excited to be part of that, part of that work. Um, when we go into schools, um, it's an ideal time and, and Head Start centers to engage with kids and not only expose them to those things that they can do to manage their own health, but also expose them to the profession yeah. and people doing the work. And we're really excited to see uh, more dentists and hygienists and dental assistants um, come into our organization and others, we need to bolster our workforce yeah. uh, to take care of the needs of the future. So we're really appreciative of that program in particular. Well, thank you again. Um, we are appreciative of the work that you do. And really, without the work that you're doing, um, we can't fulfill our mission of a healthy Pennsylvania for all. So we depend on your work and your workforce. And so thank you so much for the work that you're doing. Thank you. We have a great team. <laughs> uh, thank you all very much. Have a good day.